Hey, what's wrongus bongus here? Welcome to Frontline's White Mage 101. In this video, we will examine White Mage's PvP kit and its potential uses. But firstly, I would like to do some spring cleaning. This video's intention is not to provide a 100% flawless optimal guide to White Mage and Frontline. Its goal is to offer an easy to digest guide to White Mage and Frontlines. While some of this info contained here could be used in CC, that being Crystalline Conflict, it is written with Frontlines in mind. So with that out of the way, Get out of my way, this is White Mage PvP. Don't mind me, I was just playing some PvP on Final Fantasy XIV. You ever heard of this game? Pretty new. It's doing something never done before on the MMO landscape. No, this isn't satire. Strange. It felt as if reality shattered around me for a moment. Anyway, let's set some ground rules for ourselves. Playing white mage is a pretty dangerous job because you can't take the same amount of punishment that a tank or an otherwise melee can. With that in mind, you'll have to be mindful of where you choose to fight as you have the almighty caspar to obey. Getting started here are two spells I want to talk about together. Seraph Strike and Cure 3. These two abilities are closely linked as one unlocks the other. Seraph Strike acts as your gap closer, dealing 8k damage to your target and all within 10 yams. Grants a protective buff negating 10% of damage to self and all friendlies within 10 yams. In addition, it gives you access to Cure 3, a potent healing spell with no cast. A whopping 16k potency for self and all friendlies nearby at 5 yams. I also want to note the dangers of the Seraph Strike and how it can possibly get you killed. Um, it is a gap closer and as a healer you want to be as far from the front line as you possibly can be and with the way that targeting works in this game if you're the closest thing to the enemy everybody is targeting you so make sure to use seraph strike with care which leads me into my next skill aqua fina i mean aqua veil this cooldown is important to you throw this sucker around like a deflated football the 20 second cooldown makes it nearly spammable it offers an 8k barrier and nullifies CC abilities like stuns and the like. Abilities that would otherwise consume a purify. Basically giving the white mage a free purify. Preloaded. Should someone put a CC on you while Aquavel is active, it will double the barrier's potency to 16k. It's usable on self and friendly targets. Use on cooldown. This is White Mage's very tame bomb move, Aflatus Misery. It's not impressive unless you hit more than two targets with it. Tooltip states that it deals 12k potency to target and all nearby. Wait a minute. It can't be. It's 2023. Square Enix straight calling us a it. <clears throat> Anyway, it's on a 15 second cooldown. Not much more to say here other than Aleatus moving the fuck on. Cure 2. Potency, 12k. This spell carries two charges standard, and you get a charge refill every 15 seconds assuming you're not capped. Has a cast timer of 1.44 seconds. Toss this out on tanks and melees as necessary. Miracle of Nature, aka you fucked boy, aka Miracle of Hature. Spell that forcibly, forcibly? Damn, yeah, I guess the target doesn't exactly have a choice. They become a chicken or something, IDK bro. Two seconds of no actions, and that in includes Purify. Not even one's beloved can prevent this misery. Why wasn't this skill called something, something misery instead of that other mid-ass skill? With a range of 10 yams and a recast of 25 seconds, you can create a chicken every 25 seconds. Claire 3, a recast timer of 1.44 seconds, a range of 25 yams, dealing 5k damage per cast. Nothing really to say about this spell. You're casting this when you've got nothing left. Moving on. Aflatus Purgation. Have you ever wanted to feel like Goku? Well, this LP lets you feel like Goku. Every 60 seconds you get to cast this. It deals 18k damage uh, to all in a straight line ahead of you and stuns them for 2 seconds. It also increases damage dealt and healing potency by 10% and grants a regen to self and all nearby party members within 30 yams. The cure potency is 4k, the duration 15 seconds. This is a massive boom to your kid. You want to be popping this into crowds constantly. 
And before I wrap up the video, I want to make sure that I talk a little bit about Guard. Um, I spoke of it in, in, in the Paladin video, but I think in the Healer video here, it's going to be just as important as a squishy job. You need to make sure that you're taking advantage of the 90% reduction in damage from Guard whenever you can. Uh, don't let people burst you out. It's super easy to burst out a Healer in Frontline's PvP. They can be dead in the length of a stun. Just be mindful of your gap closers, use your Guard, and lastly, have fun. Thanks for watching.